not an economist, um, but I don't think that economists have a monopoly on um, talking about the, the crisis we're in or the ways we might get out of it. Um, and as a, as a profession, they're not exactly uh, covered in glory. There have been a few unorthodox economists um, who've been sounding the alarm and saying that we're, we're heading for trouble if we carry on like this. Um, and they've generally been dismissed in sidelines as doctors of doom. There have also been quite a lot of activists and journalists like ourselves who for many, many years have been saying that there's something desperately wrong with our global economic architecture. Um, and by our reckoning, a system which has led to deepening inequality, which is what Danny was talking about since the 1960s, is a system that's not working. Um, this is crunch time, but it's also opportunity time. And when faced you know, by those who would rather we shut up, I think it's important to remind ourselves of a few things. And one of those is that the economy does not belong to economists or politicians or bankers. It belongs to us, the people. And the same can be said for banks too. I mean, first of all, quite literally, we've bailed out a lot of banks, a huge cost to us, the public, but still, we have no control over them. In fact, the very opposite is happening. If we look at what's happening in the Eurozone, the banks have taken over democracy. We've had, an, effectively, a banker's coup. In Italy and Greece, Goldman Sa um, technocrats connected with Goldman Sachs have got the top jobs. So, um, I mean, you could say that, you know, this is a takeover of democracy, and you could say that, actually, this has been happening for quite a long time already, if you look at the extent of corporate lobbying. Now, I know that one of the uh, debates and discussions that's been going on quite a bit here at Occupy and elsewhere is whether it, it's good, a good idea to be very specific about one's demands or whether it's better to keep them vague. Um, and I think that one can't overestimate the importance of actually being here, of occupying, of developing democracy from grassroots up. Um, but I think that at New Internationalist, we have got a, a slightly different sort of habit, which has developed over the years, and we've kind of, it's 